I'm going to actually begin with you, Kay, okay, and just asking what it was like for you to, to direct for the first time. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of pressure. Like, it was equal parts rewarding and terrifying. <laughs> but but uh, I'm so glad I did it. Because, I mean, though obviously a, a big comedy, I mean, the film does explore those kind of anxieties. We don't tap into much in cinema, which is this idea of kids kind of moving away and leaving. Because I think, obviously, that's a big thing that a lot of parents have to go through, where they spend 18 years of their life looking after their children, and then they're off and they've gone. I mean, is that something that, is that a theme that you're, you're both kind of keen to explore and something that plays, plays on your mind as well? Um, yes, uh, me definitely, because she is a four year old. But yeah. at the time, I had an 18 year old who was about ready to go away to college. And so I was um, having a panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought um, that it would be nice to put all of that energy into, you know, this movie and tell that story through this movie. It was so real for, for you, too, because. Yeah your daughter was was going away, like going across the country. Yeah. Not like just going, you know, 45 minutes away. Right. So I can't even imagine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you got a while until you have to worry about that. Yeah. Um, but like I mean, the film... I, she's gone. Because <laughs> <laughs> the film has got obviously some real heart to it, which, I mean, given it's about parents trying to cock block their own children, I mean, you wouldn't think initially going in that they would have that kind of undercurrent. How did you go about kind of addressing that, that tone? Because it's quite difficult in the comedy genre to, to combine the two, yeah. but it, this really pulls it off. Yo, oh, thank you. I, I think that, I think we laugh and cry on the same day. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and so I I felt like it was really important to me to show these, you know, big comedy scenes like butt chugging and then also have very real heartfelt conversations uh, with your, you know, with your kid. Um, and, and I think that if people are laughing, I hope that they're coming close to crying <laughs> too uh, when they see some of these scenes. And Leslie, of course, you've worked with your, your husband on several occasions. He's renowned for his kind of freedom for improvisation. I was wondering how much uh, freedom you had in that regard on this project. And if it's quite difficult when you have been working in that sort of environment to make more sort of traditional uh, movies in the sense that where you haven't necessarily got that ability to just go off script. I find it very relaxing to not have to not improvise. It's like, feels like the greatest thing ever because you, you can just, you know, work on your lines and do your lines and be an actor. And but when you do it the other way, it's really fun. But it's also you're you're like all systems are going. And so it's it's much harder. And um and as and this movie, I was the one who was going through that experience. You know, my child was going away to college, so it was it was important to me to to tell that story in a real way, and um, it was uh, you know uh, yeah, but mm -hmm. difficult because I had to I had to you know be thinking a lot about you know, uh, making the story make sense and what felt truthful to me. And it's important that it felt truthful to people watching the movie. I know you want me to stop talking. <laughs> I know you I've just got one more question okay. to go. <laughs> And anyway, yeah. and the truth of the moment, <laughs> though, when I, in that moment... But we did improvise a lot. <laughs> we did improvise. Yeah, we did improvise a little bit. I do have just one more. Uh, and it's just uh, for UK. I mean, obviously, uh, as of your, this is your first time in the director's chair, it means you were hired here based on potential, which mm -hmm. doesn't actually happen very often to women in this industry. I was just like wondering <laughs> how, how important it is now that, you know, you're, you were given this platform to showcase your talent and are you hoping this is going to happen more often in the future? Yeah, absolutely. I think that they actively sought out um, a, a female director um, or just they actively sought out people that they felt could do a good job and that they'd want to work with in the future. Um, Nathan Kahane at Good Universe sat with me years before and was like, D don't you want to start directing movies? And I think he just was, I think we need more Nathan Kahanes out there. Brilliant. Thanks so much for your time. Much appreciated. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Cheers. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!